What do you work on? You look a little bit like a preacher right now. And, and you were a world builder, right? Yeah, so the world builders were like half level designers, half environment artists. And they sort of smashed the role together. Uh, the way we were working in the worlds almost necessitated that because we had no uh, multi-user source control. So multiple people couldn't have the same level checked out at the same time? Uh, not back then. Back in Psychonauts, when we'd uh, export a level to play it in the engine, uh, like, you know, we're pushing it all the way to the Xbox, the original Xbox. What, what are we calling that one now? I don't know. <laughs> the first Xbox, uh, you know, that was like a half an hour, 45 minute process. And now it's just like you hit play and then you're in the game. It takes no time at all. It's, it's super awesome. You can even do stuff where you're like, you're playing, you can pause it, move, move, a, move a platform and then hit play again. And then you're like, testing out exactly what you just did. It's it's spectacular. Oh, but it feels so good going back into like a third person game. You need it, the player to be engaged and you need the level and the world to sort of tell you what you need to do without just being super blatant about it. But like putting icons on everything, which is fucking terrible, right? A lot of the stuff that, that is necessary for that to work also means you're gonna spend a lot of time on things that players literally run by in like three seconds and they'll never see it again. <laughs> you get smarter about how you apply those things where it's like, yes, this is the right level of detail for this particular object, but it's also something that you as, as, a, as a content creator, author, artist, whatever, are gonna be able to put together in a way that makes it easier for you to place those things without spending a ton of time on them. Um, well, I mean, a lot of the gameplay in, in the original Psychonauts is, uh, it's not bad, I would say dated. Like, f at that time, platformers had sort of a certain feel, and uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really work nowadays. The, the older games do not sort of fit into what a modern game is. It still has, it still, they still have things that feel good, right? Like. Like Mario's backflip jump still feels good even today. There's still a lot of good motion in there, and, it, and it's pretty rad. Go, 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 go. go. You're gonna get hit. I got no! Go! 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 I couldn't get back up. Okay. Ukulele's funny because it's almost a one to one to Banjo Kazooie, right? Like down to what the, the character can do. Um, and the real difference is that that ukulele just feels super tight. It's interesting to see how they're basically doing the exact same thing that we are. Um, so we're we're at a part where we're actually like actively giving input on what these brain levels should be, and that's it's pretty exciting. It's it's a lot of fun um, coming up with really insane mental worlds and just regu the regular worlds too. Like we're kind of exploring what Psychonauts headquarters is, you know? Is it like this super high tech, awesome spy agency? Is it like a defunded government agency? And so everything is kind of dingy and run down and everybody's depressed. Like, uh, you know, is it this like crazy utopian future psychic society? Like we don't know any of that yet. And it's cool to sort of dig deep and figure out what it's gonna be.